Hello, everybody. All right, we're going to continue with chapter three. In today's lesson, we're, it's considered an algebra lesson, and we're going to make a 10 to add. And so the question that we should be able to answer at the end of this lesson is, how is the make a 10 strategy used to find sums? All right, we're on page 129 of the second grade Go Math textbook. Now listen to the following scenario. And I want you to find which of these five 10 frames represents the problem I'm reading. Okay, ready? All right. There are six large dogs and four small dogs. How many dogs are there? Find the model, the 10 frame that represents the problem I just read, and write the addition problem that it shows. Let me repeat the question. There are six large dogs and four small dogs. How many dogs are there? You can pause the video to find your answer. All right. So let's see, six large dogs. Well, we know that there's five and five, right? So five and one, that would be six. And four small dogs equals 10. All right, now let me read a different problem. And you find the 10 frame that represents that problem. There are eight large dogs and two small dogs. How many dogs are there? Again, I said there are eight large dogs and two small dogs. How many dogs are there? Go ahead and pause the video and write the math problem represented by that model. Okay, did you come up with this? Okay, eight large dogs. Two small dogs, eight and two more is 10. Okay, let me give you another one. There are five large dogs and five small dogs. How many dogs are there? Which one represents that? Which one represents five large dogs and four and five small dogs? Okay, that was the first 10 frame, right? Five, five large dogs, five small dogs. Five and five more is 10. Okay, how about this one? There are nine large dogs and one small dog. How many dogs are there? Go ahead and write the math problem to represent the, the problem I just read. Nine large dogs and one small dog. Okay, we should have come up with this one, right? So can you read, could you probably, could you tell someone what this problem would re represent as far as large dogs and small dogs? Wouldn't we say there are seven large dogs and three small dogs. How many dogs are there? 10. Okay, so these are the math facts that make tens, right? And we can turn them around, right? Four plus six is 10. Two plus eight is 10. Three plus seven is 10 and one plus nine is 10. Okay, so if we can remember the math facts that help us make tens, it will make adding different um, add ins easier. So let's look at page 130. All right, so seven plus five. We need to add 3 and 7 to make a 10, right? 
So we can break apart the five because we need three, right? So if we take three from five, that leaves us two. So break apart the five as three plus two because seven plus three is 10 and then 10 plus two is 12. So what we're taking from the seven and the five is to make it into a 10. Okay, so now let's look at this one. Eight plus three more. Eight plus what is 10? Two. Well, if I break three into two plus one, that gives me the three, right? So now I have eight plus two is 10. 10 plus one is 11. Two plus nine equals what? Well, 9 plus 1 would give me a 10, and 1 plus 1 is 2, right? So break the 2 into 1 plus 1, because 9 plus 1 is 10, and then we'd add the other 1. So 2 plus 9 is 11. All right, 8 plus 5. We can break the 5 up so that we can make a 10 from the 8. 8 plus what is 10? 8 plus 2, right? So let's break the 5 into 2 and 3. All right? So if you add 8 and 10, 2, that makes a 10. Now we just have to add the 3. And 10 and 3 more is 13. 4 plus 7 equals what? Now, it really doesn't matter which number we break apart to get the 10, but typically we want to start with the larger added. Which one's closer to 10 already? So 7 plus what is a 10? 3, right? So 7, sorry about that. 7 plus 3 is 10, and now add the 1. Nine plus three equals what? Well, let's break the three into two plus one. What's nine plus one? Ten. Now we have to have the two. Ten plus two, twelve. So three plus nine is twelve. Seven plus six equals what? We'll break the six into three plus three, because seven plus three is 10. And now add the other three. 10 plus three is 13. Okay, let's look at page 131. Show how you can make a 10, find the sum and write the sum. So they broke the th four up into three and one. Why 3 and 1 and not like 2 and 2? Because 9 plus 1 is 10. Now add the remaining part of the 4, which would be 3. So 4 and 9 is 13. 9 plus 8. We need one more to get to a 10. So let's break up the 8 as 1 plus 7. So 9 and 1 is 10. Plus the 7 gives us 17. Could you have gone 8 plus 8 plus 1 and used double facts? Sure. Okay, but we are practicing making a 10 right now. 8 plus 6 equals what? Well, we need two more to get to 10, right? So 2 plus what is 6? 4, right? All right, so 8 plus 2 is 10 plus the 4. Five plus what is nine? Well, we need one more to get to a 10 right here, right? So let's break the five into four and one. Nine plus one is 10. 10 plus four, 14. So five plus nine is 14. Seven plus nine equals what? 
Let's break the 7 into 6 and 1. Why are we using 6 and 1? Because I only need to add one more to the 9 to get a 10. 10 plus 6, 16. So 7 plus 9 is 16. 8 plus 4 equals what? How many do we have to add the 8 to get 10? 2. So 4 can be broken up as 2 and 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus the other 2 is 12. So 8 plus 4 is 12. 9 plus 9, well, that's a double, right? You know, we, saw, we do know that that's 18. But we are practicing making a 10. So take one of the 9s. How much do we have to add to this 9 to make a 10? 1. Okay. So 9 plus 1 is 10, and 10 plus 8 is 18. 8 plus 7 equals what? So if we make a 10, we'd have to break the 7 into 2 plus 5, because 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 5, 15. So 8 plus 7 is 15. Okay, number 15. There were five bees in a hive. How many more bees need to go in the hive for there to be 14 bees? How many more bees need to go in the hive so that there's 14? So we know that there's five. So there's five plus something equals 14. Hmm. What do I have to add to five to make a 10? Five, right? Now, so five plus five is 10. What do I have to add to 10 to get the 14? Four, right? Okay. What is five plus four? Nine. So we need nine more Bs. So all we, I did was start by making a 10 from the 5. 5 plus what was 10? 5. 5 and 5 is 10. 10 plus what gives you 14? 10 plus 4. Okay, so if we had broken this number into 5 and 4, that would have been 9. All right, page 132, number 16. Solve by writing or drawing to explain. There are nine large bicycles at the store. There are six small bicycles at the store. How many bicycles are at the store? Well, we have nine large bicycles, and we have six small bicycles, and we have to find out how many total we have. Well, let's continue to practice making tens. I need to add one to the nine to make a ten. So let's break six into one and five, because nine, five plus one is 10. Uh, sorry, five plus one is six. Nine plus one is 10. 10 plus five, 15. So there are 15 bicycles. Number 17, Max is thinking of a double stack. Okay, so that means both our add-ins are the same, right? It has a sum the answer to an addition problem, that is greater than the sum of 6 and 4, but less than the sum of 8 and 5. What fact is Max thinking of? So we want greater than 6 and 4, but less than 8 and 5. All right, well, 6 and 4, that's a 10, right? So we need a doubles fact that's going to be bigger than 10, but less than 13. So our answer has to equal 11 or 12. Well, no two numbers added together will give me 11, right? So let's confirm that. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. Well, we know is all of these answers are even. So there's no way if we had the same number, we're going to get an odd answer. 
So only 6 plus 6 would give me 12. And 18. Natasha had 8 shells, and she found 5 more shells. Draw to find Draw to show how to find the number of shells Natasha has now. She had eight, and she found five more. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She had eight, and she found five more. So how many do I have to add to make this 10 frame complete? Well, I need to add two, right? So if I do that, I'm going to break up the five into two and three. I'm going to go ahead and show the five here as circles. So she found two more. Now she has 10, right? So eight and two is 10 plus the three additional ones she found. So how much does he have? She has 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. So hopefully you understand that how to make a 10 to make adding a little easier or quicker. Okay. These are things that we can do in our head. 8 plus 5. Well, I know 8 plus 2 is 10 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 3 more, 13. Okay. Is it easier just to know that 8 plus 5 is 13? Yeah. Okay, obviously it is. All right. So, but if you get stuck, it's nice to have a strategy such as making a 10 to find the sum. All right, so that's it for lesson 3-3. And so until our next lesson, I will see you soon.